Hi children, welcome back. Um, have you all practiced all the sounds starting from A till Z? Okay, now let's again look at each of these sounds with stories so that you remember each of these sounds and start uttering these sounds, start telling these sounds. Okay, so in this section we are only going to see A, B, C and D. Alright, the sounds of A, B, C and D. Okay, so a lot of pictures here, right? So let's look at a small story that I have made for you. So that, uh, uh, I mean, you'll remember the story also, plus the sounds also. Apart from that, you will also know what does this letter stand for, okay? So can you see here? There is Abby and Amy. A, A, Abby. A, A, Amy. Abby and Amy are brother and sister, okay? So Abby is the big brother. Ami is the younger sister. One day, Abby and Ami thought of venturing out of their house. Okay, their father was a forest officer, and his their father had always said that never go out of the house without telling me, without informing me. One day, while the parents were busy, Abby and Ami left their house and started walking in the forest, you know. Though they knew the forest well because their father was a forest officer and they've lived, they had lived most of their lives. I mean, the parents, of course, since ages they've been living. But both Amy and Abby too have lived in the forest for long. However, while walking, they lost their way. Both a a Abby and a, a Ami lost their way. Then what happened? After some time, Abby started feeling very hungry. Both of them were very sad too because they had lost their way. So Ab Ami said to Abby, Abby, I'm feeling very hungry. I'm really feeling hungry. Can you help me with something? Then Abby said, Ami, this is not a picnic spot, right? I'm not carrying anything with me. But Ami was feeling so hungry that she started crying. Then all of a sudden, Abby saw an apple tree. A -a apple. Abby saw an apple tree. Excitedly, he told Ami, Ami, look, there is an apple tree. We can pluck the apples and eat those. Ami was really happy. They ran towards the apple tree. A -a apple tree. But the apple tree, but Abby could not reach the apple tree. I mean the apples. So he found an axe. His eyes fell on an axe. Now what did he do? He took that axe and he was about to give a blow to the apple tree when suddenly he started shouting. Ah! Ami said, what happened Abby? Why are you shouting? What happened? The axe fell on the ground and Abby was holding his foot and jumping. Ami said, what happened? Why are you behaving like that? Then Abby said, something has bit me. Something has really bit me. I'm feeling very, I'm feeling very suffocated because it's, it's still biting me. And then he lifted his leg. Then Ami took his leg and, he saw, and she saw that well, there was an ant. There was an ant that was trying to bite Abby. Then Ami said, oh ant, please leave my little brother. Why are you harming him? Then the ant said, why did Abby pick that axe and start cutting the apple tree? Ami said, it's not his fault, dear ant. He wanted to give me an apple because both of us were feeling hungry. Then the ant said, you need not cut the apple tree if you want an apple. Just shake the apple tree. It, the apples will automatically fall. Why do you want to cut it? Then Ami said, I'm so sorry, dear ant. I will not do that again. Will you please now stop biting me? Then the ant left Ami's foot. Then 
Ami and Abby started shaking the apple tree. Two, three apples fell on the ground. Ami and Abby both took apples. They thanked the ant and started walking again. Now they wondered, where did we leave our house? How do we find our house? While they were just thinking about that, Ami again started crying. Abby said, what happened, Ami? I've given you an apple now. Why are you crying? Then Ami said, now I'm feeling thirsty. What do I do? Abby said, it looks like you've come for a picnic here, Ami. We are unable to find our house. I've been bitten by an ant and now you want water. Then his eyes fell on a small pond and he said, we are lucky. There is a small pond. Let's walk there and try to drink some water from the pond. The moment Abby and Ami reached the pond, there came an alligator. A a alligator. Seeing the alligator, Ami started shouting. Yeah! Then Abby said, now what? Ami said, can't you see there is an alligator there? It'll bite us. It'll kill us. To that, Abby said, please do not worry. Let's just run away from here. While they were running, both of them fell down and they lost their senses. When Abby and Ami woke up, they heard a siren. Do, 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 do. They were wondering, where are they? Then they saw there was a stretcher, there was um, something, some pipes moving from here and there. There was a doctor, there was a nurse. And then they realized they are sitting inside an ambulance. A, a ambulance. Then when they looked up, they saw their mama and papa inside the ambulance. And they were so happy. The ambulance took them to the hospital, gave them first aid and they came back happily home. So how is the story of Abby and Ami on a forest venture where they ate apple from the apple tree, Ami, Abby got bitten by an a a ant because he wanted to cut the apple tree with a a axe. And when Ami was feeling thirsty, she went to the pond and saw what? An a a alligator. And while running away from the forest, both of them fell down and they found them inside an a a ambulance. Okay, so now you know. Ah, can you tell the story to your parents? What are the five things that you have to remember? You have to remember Ami and Abby. Then you have to remember apple. Then axe. Then ant. Then alligator. And ambulance. So tell the story to your parents. And learn the words. Now let's look at our second friend. And the second, friend, second friend's name is B. 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 Okay. All right. So you see, small B and big B. Now another story, a short story on B. B. All right. So can you see Bob here? B. B. Bob. B. 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 Bob. It was Bob's birthday that day. It was Bob's birthday that day. So, Bob's birthday. Bob was celebrating his birthday. And he wanted the house to be decorated with balloons. He wanted the house to be decorated with balloons. His father was a very poor farmer. A very poor farmer. But he didn't want to make his son sad. So what he did, he bought three balloons and he pasted these balloons in the three walls, on the three walls. Okay. So it was Bob's birthday and his father, his poor farmer father, decorated the house with three balloons. And he had kept a small box on the table. He kept a small box on the table. When Bob entered the room, he was very happy and excited to see the balloons because 
he loved balloons b b balloons because it was his b b birthday and when he looked at the box b b box his eyes sparkled he ran to the box and when he opened the box what did he find he found a ball b b ball and what was the color of the ball blue b b blue okay so bobby was very happy because on his b b birthday he got b b balloons he also had a b b box in which his father had kept a b b blue b b ball so a small story but a very pleasing story right so tell this story also to your parents on b b b now let's move on and see the third alphabet and who is this friend of ours this friend of ours is c okay and can you see this little girl here what's her name her name is kathy this is kathy okay one fine day kathy thought of taking her dear pet ka ka cat out on a walk so kathy took her cat out on a walk while walking she started feeling very hot she started feeling very hot so she took out her cap ka ka cap and wore it kathy took her cap out and wore it but after walking for a short distance she started feeling really tired because it was very hot even though she was wearing a ka ka cap she felt very hot and tired as well and the cat ka ka cat her best friend started quivering and said that i cannot walk any further kathy can you just ask someone to help us with a ride can someone someone give us a ride it was then that she stood on the middle of the street and started showing like this because she wanted a lift and to her utter surprise she saw her papa's red ka ka car coming towards them and when the car approached her father to a bit sad because kathy had not informed them and left the house told kathy kathy please come and sit inside and put your kathy also inside so when kathy went sat inside the car her father said kathy you should never come out of the house without telling us or without us and what were you doing standing on the middle of the street asking for lift what if somebody would have taken you then kathy said papa we were feeling very tired and we wanted someone to give us a lift to that kathy's father said you should never ask for lift first thing you should never leave the house without us and second you should never ask for lifts from strangers but kathy was happy that she was inside her car and all of a sudden she saw her father giving her a piece of ka ka cake ka ka cake she was very happy that her father had brought her favorite cake for her she started eating the cake and gave some to her cat also then after eating the cake her father gave her the a cup his own cup with some warm water and he said drink this kathy you will feel good so how was kathy's journey kathy had left home with her ka ka cat and when she felt hot she wore her she wore her ka ka cap and when she felt very tired she asked for a lift and luckily found her father's car ka ka car and inside the car she was given a cake and some warm water to drink 
in her favorite cup. So, now you are going to tell the friend C story to your friends or your parents. Okay? So, it is C, C, Cat, Cap, Car, Cake and Cup. Now, let us look at our dear D. You say, no, my dear friend. So, D is our dear D. Can you see a little girl here? Her name is Dolly. T, T, Dolly. T, D, Dolly. And Dolly seems to be a very naughty girl, just like most of you. Dolly was a very naughty girl. But Dolly loved lot of animals. Dolly loved lot of animals. She had her pet dog with her. She had a dog at her house. D, D, dog. So, Dolly and her dog went to a zoo. Dolly with her dog went to a zoo. But before going to the zoo, Dolly wore her favorite dress. T, T, dress. T, T, dress. And she went to the zoo. In the zoo, she saw a lot of animals and she was really happy seeing the animals, birds, reptiles. When she came back home, her father asked, Dolly, you had gone to the zoo with Mama, so what did you see there? Now Dolly started thinking, what did I see in the zoo? And all she could remember was that she saw a t t Dear, t, t, dear. Then she again started thinking, what did I see? And then she remembered, okay, did I not see a dolphin show? T, t, dolphin, t, t, dolphin. And again she started thinking, what else did I see? And she remembered seeing a very pretty d, d, Duck. D, d, duck. Then her father asked, Dolly, of all the animals, birds and reptiles that you saw in the zoo, why do you only remember these? To that she said, I was trying to remember animals, mammals, birds, which had their first letter similar to that of mine. So I did not remember any of the other things but only the animals and birds and other animals that had their names starting with my letter and that is D. D, D, D. That is why she only remembered duck, D, D, duck, D, D, dolphin and D, D, deer. Alright? So you also try whatever is your name just try to find out the words, the names of animals, birds or any other thing that starts with your letter. Okay? Like in my case, my name starts with C. So, I can think of animals like cat. I can think of um, things like cup. Okay? I can think of something that starts with C and that is... K, car. Okay? So, let us look at all of the four alphabets again. What did we see? We saw A, A. And what all did we see? What does A stand for? We saw an apple, an axe, an alligator and an ant. And who were the two characters? Abby and Amy. Alright? And finally, what did we see that the word with A? Ambulance. Then we came to our dear friend B and the story was about Bob. Okay, let's look at that once again. So, Bob and it was Bob's birthday and what did Bob get? He got balloons, b -b balloons, he got a b -b box, 
inside the box there was a b b blue b b ball i told you about c because c is what my name stands with starts with and it was kathy kathy took her cat she wore a cap she sat inside the car she ate a cake and she drank warm water in her cup and then finally we saw that the letter d and dolly went to the zoo she wore a beautiful dress she took a dog and she only remembered the three animals or three uh, three of the things that she saw i mean three animals or birds or mammal whatever she saw but she only remembered three names because all the three names started with d because her name starts with d so she saw she remembered dolphin t t dolphin t t duck and t t deer so now tell all these four stories to your parents and try to find out few more words that start with a a b b c k and d d okay i'll see you now see you on the other side with the rest of the letters all right thanks for watching